Donald Trump will be out of office soon. Um, but when he's out, there's still going to be millions of people, millions of Trump supporters, millions of people within this cult, and they're not going to go away. They either need to be brought back to reality or some other demagogue who may be even more effective politically than Donald Trump will come along and capitalize on their ignorance and stupidity. And as a country, we have to grapple with this. We have to grapple with the fact that there's a large portion of American society that just rejects empirical reality. How do we go forward as a country? It's a real question. It's an issue that we're all going to have to deal with. So I've got a series of videos here, uh, one from Status Quo, a couple from uh, CNN, where reporters will talk to Trump supporters and the things that they say, it's downright delusional. Like this is cult-like, it's sycophantic, but it's just more so than anything else it makes you really feel just disturbed and hopeless at the situation so this one is from uh john farina of status coup he talks to trump supporters and what we see here i haven't seen all of this just watch and can you tell me about the uh the steel the uh why you're here to stop the steel because they already proved in Pennsylvania that over 200,000 votes, more than how many people voted in the state of Pennsylvania, not include all the rest of the illegal votes that happened in all the other states. Yeah, I don't feel we're being represented. We've got 80 million people now, probably more like 90 million people that are pissed off about the election. And everybody, you know it, they all know it's been stolen. Yeah, not fooling us. Joe Biden's a farce. Uh, uh, can you tell me uh, a little bit about the uh, the election and the steal and how it was stolen? I uh, Dominion voting machines, uh, every, every which way but loose, every which way you guys possibly could. That's all he says. Dominion voting machines, and then he's got nothing. E every which way you could. That's not evidence. That isn't sufficient to prove the election was stolen. I just, these folks live in an alternate reality. The cognitive dissonance is, is so strong that they've just like bought into their own delusions. And like if Trump was like everything he said occurred in a vacuum and it only affected him, that'd be one thing. But the fact that his supporters believe his lies and stupidity, that's the real issue here. The folk, uh, the fact that these folks believe the election was stolen from Donald Trump is insane. It's insane. If the election was stolen, don't you think that Democrats would have, you know, uh, done a little bit more to uh, steal the House, not lose ground in the House, get a more comfortable margin in the Senate? Don't you think that the Republicans from Georgia, such as Marjorie Taylor Greene, who won handily, would have lost their elections as well? Like, there's no consistency here. It's just convenient thinking because they don't want to believe that Daddy Trump could ever lose because, you know, he, he built this brand of I'm the ultimate deal maker. I'm a winner and you're never going to get tired of winning or whatever. It's just, you know, they, they can't they can't believe anything that contradicts their worldview. So they just choose to literally reject empirical reality. It's astonishing to me to watch this. They don't want any more. Can't. Cowardly I've, I've dumped women for less evidence of cheating. Like I'm sure they're better off now, dude. Believe in freedom, and we're on the verge of losing freedom. We had a duly elected president, and trying to take that away from us. And I got a lot of friends back home, just couldn't make it. And just want to let everybody know that we gotta keep these freedoms that we have, or we'll never get them back. We got to keep these freedoms that we have. This individual literally believes that democracy was stolen. And so the only way to unrig this election is to take Biden's win away. But to save democracy, what he doesn't understand is he, in his mind, it's saving democracy. But in actuality, you are the ones who are stealing democracy. You're stealing democracy away from the rightful winner. Joe Biden, love him or hate him, got almost, what was it, 10 million more votes than Donald Trump? And yet you still believe it was stolen. And see, that's the issue. It's that like these folks genuinely believe that they are doing the right thing. It's not them who's attacking democracy. It's anyone who doesn't buy into these lies. They're all part of it. They're co-conspirators. You know, they're complicit. 
this this is going to be an issue for a really long time. Like the outright delusional behavior of the Republican Party base will continue to be a problem so long as the Republican Party elected Republicans uh, make them believe this stuff. You know, uh, I think there's a lot of Republicans in Congress who are stupid and believe this bullshit like Marjorie Taylor Greene, um, Louis Gomer. There, there's a bunch of them, but a lot of them know exactly what they're doing. And they know that they are working these folks into a frenzy, uh, either because they are scared to challenge Donald Trump's stupidity or because, you know, they want to fundraise off of Donald Trump and make it seem as if they're fighting for Donald Trump. It's a tipping point in America right now. Yeah, it is. He's right about that. Not for the reasons he thinks. The election was stolen because you can see the charts and the graphs. I sat up that night watching it, and you see Donald Trump. The charts are going like this, and then all of a sudden they stop counting. Woke up the next morning, and the graphs are going straight up. Man, that's you know, <laughs> that's more evidence that I've heard. I think we're done with this video. Yeah, we're done. That's more evidence than I've heard from anyone. You know, the graph goes up like this, and then it goes up, and the numbers go up, and then it goes like this, and it goes like this. That's honestly like as incoherent as that was. He presented more evidence than any other Trump supporter. Look, let me just say this. If these weird jumps, weird to you in vote totals while they're counting the votes, is suspicious, then ask yourself this. Did you think that, you know, in the Georgia runoff race, when all of a sudden Warnock and Ossoff were leading by like 12, 13 points, and then seems like Loeffler and Purdue just suddenly made this huge gain because certain areas came in. Like, is that not suspicious to you? Did it seem like Republicans were stealing it? Or is it only election theft when you see these jumps happen that benefit Democrats? I think we know the answer. And the answer is whatever I want to believe. I don't need evidence. I just need my belief and I need to have faith and believe it's strong enough. Okay, so this next video is from CNN. Um, this is on January 4th. This is before the Georgia runoff race. And this is has got to be the most batshit insane thing I've ever seen. Honestly, this CNN reporter, uh, he has talked to so many MAGA chuds. He has to be experiencing brain rot by now. So this is truly an American patriot for what he's doing. I, cu I couldn't talk to this many Trump supporters and not lose faith in humanity. But nonetheless, he's here. And what he documents is, is stunning. Do you think that Trump will eventually Trump accept that, that Biden is the next president? No, Biden is not the next Biden president. Biden isn't. Trump is the next president. I'm going to the inauguration for Trump. I've booked it before the election. They're saying this on January 4th. With the inauguration weeks away, they still believe Trump will be inaugurated. I just, I don't know what to say about this. So, will they believe that uh, when Biden is actually inaugurated and we can all see it on television? Like, do they think it's a false flag? Do they think that, like, this is some sort of shadow government and Trump is, like, actually still in charge? I just, like, I don't know. Like, I want to talk to these folks and pick their brains. I actually don't want to do that. But it's just, uh, what they're saying is batshit fucking insane. I don't know. I don't know how else to describe this. I have faith. He's going to be there and he's going to be doing, he's going to be elected. So he'll be president. We'll see for about that. Weeks. No, he will be president till 2024. You're saying this on January 4th. Oh my gosh. Like what else more needs to happen? Every single state certified the election results. The electoral college voted. Uh, now, Congress has since certified. The only thing left is for Joe Biden to be sworn in. At what point do you think maybe there's just a small chance that I'm wrong? I don't think these people are capable of um, self-reflection. Practically every day since the election, new supposed evidence purporting to prove... Whoa! This dude looks familiar, doesn't he? This is one of the dudes who stormed the Capitol. Holy shit, this dude is everywhere. So he was in Georgia. And that actually, uh, isn't this the leader of the Proud Boys? They are busy. They're on the move. Joe Biden did not win circulates in the social media bubble Trump and his supporters live in. Hello, Georgia, by the way. There's no way we lost Georgia. There's no way. Two months since election day and just two weeks to Biden's inauguration, many are still refusing to accept reality. Stop them! Stop them! Stop them! Stop them! Stop them! 
obviously Trump is, is saying that the election was stolen from him in here in Georgia, doesn't trust the uh, Republican election officials here. Does that cause a problem or an issue? Yeah, the Republicans. The Republicans election? were complicit in stealing uh, the election. I think it has for several people. Yeah. Uh, people are not uh, have been demoralized and um, have actually told me that they um, do not want to vote because they feel like their vote isn't going to count. It yeah, that happens. For you when you're hearing from Trump supporters, Republican voters saying, I don't know if I'll even vote this week. Uh, yeah, but you know what? Most of them, after we talk to them, have voted. I've spent um, a lot of time last week calling people up. And, mm. and uh, the people who first said they, they weren't going to vote, after I spoke to them, they are going to vote. In Georgia... I'm so glad those Republicans ghouls lost. Republicans the elections, right? Secretary yes. of State, all that. They've said they've investigated, investigated, investigated. They've counted three or four times. Right. And they said Biden has still won. Do you accept that? No, not all Republicans are good people just because they're Republicans. Trump is keep saying that he didn't actually lose. <laughs> like, why would Brian Kemp help Joe Biden steal the election? Like, Brian Kemp himself is a fucking scumbag. He oversaw his own election in 2018 when uh, he was running for governor against Stacey Abrams. He was the secretary of state overseeing his own election, purged black voters from the rolls, like limited polling locations. So this is a scumbag. Of course, he would prefer Trump win. Of all people, Brian Kemp, like you'd think that they'd believe he's a true Kool-Aid drinker, a true believer like they are. But, you know, you didn't tell us what we wanted to hear. So uh, you're a traitor. Fuck you. That's that's their thinking. The election was stolen. Do you think it's just time for him to, to give up and, and let Biden yeah. take over? Step up and say, let's walk away. Yeah. Okay. Let, let him do his job. Yeah. You're one of the, I think you're one of the only people today I've spoken to here who He's said that. He's genuinely but shocked. Why do you think that's important? Because it's showing who's the better person. You know, if you're going to continue fighting, what's the use? I mean, you know, if you've already lost it, let it go. Wait till next term. That's a rare opinion at this Trump rally. Also rare, but worrying talk of civil war will you accept joe biden as president no he'll never be my president okay but you know you accept that he's going to be inaugurated no i don't i mean how could that change at this point <laughs> well it could be a civil war you never know oh there could you be a civil war a civil war do you i don't, we don't well, show us the voting machines show us the ballots show us that this was a fair what election. does that mean show us the voting never machines accept another vote again ever <laughs> These dumb motherfuckers don't realize that you are capable as a U.S. citizen of auditing your own county's results. Like, you know that, right? But you're too lazy. You just want to believe what OAN and uh, Newsmax and Donald Trump tells you. And they always, you know, they'll agitate for a civil war and then they'll say, oh, well, I don't want that. Yeah, you do. That's what you're agitating for. You've shown that you have the capacity as a movement, a quote unquote movement to get violent. And that's what you want. If you think that... Uh, you know, a civil war would lead to Donald Trump remaining in power. That's exactly what you would opt for. You've all proven yourself. You've shown your cards. Now, this video is from the same reporter. This is on the day where the uh, pro-Trump mob stormed the U.S. Capitol. Uh, their response is here when he asked them basic questions about if they're proud of what they did. Is uh, It should be embarrassing, but they have no shame. Are you proud of what happened here today? I'm absolutely uh, staying behind 100% what happened here today. 1,000%. I think it's terrible how this election was stolen. And I had to come here and do my patriotic duty. One aspect that um, a lot of folks probably didn't even think about, uh, I hadn't either, is how much uh, that event is going to be like a COVID super spreader. And uh, it's... These folks are going to be sick because none of them are wearing masks or very few of them were wearing masks. It's just they think that they are doing the patriotic thing. You know, if you believe a, a democracy is at stake and the election was stolen, you try to stop that from happening. So they've been, you know, uh, duped by Donald Trump at OAN and, and whatnot. And so these right wing uh, media outlets and pundits, you know, Charlie Kirk, Dave Rubin, all these folks. They bear a lot of the blame for this behavior. Now, of course, individual responsibility is something that's important. Like, they have to be more responsible consumers of media. But having said that, though, like, when you work people into a frenzy to that extent, I think that you, you share a lot of the blame. 
Are you guys just left the Capitol grounds? Yep. Are you proud of the scenes that, that, that played out here today? I'm not proud of it. I'm humbled by it and that um, I'm excited that for 1776, the we the people movement is moving forward. Should yeah. Trump it's sad. It's sad that it has to happen. Are you proud of what happened here today? I'm proud that the Patriots came out today to show their support for our president because he is, Donald Trump is our president. Well, I mean, but what does this achieve? It's just shocking how many people will like admit that they uh, trespassed. They like straight up went in there, committed a crime, uh, felonies. They'll go on camera. The dude with the, the horns um, in the last video that we saw, he was actually interviewed. He gave like his first name, last name, spelled it out. I mean, these folks are basically like doxing themselves. Uh, so they have absolutely no concern whatsoever that they're going to be prosecuted when the FBI is actually looking to prosecute some of them. Uh, it's just you think that they would have at least some buy into the world that they live in, like the things that they can see around them. But to them, it's just whatever they want to believe. I mean, like imagine not living in the real world like this, where if something is inconvenient that you don't like, you just reject it. I mean, I am not a Joe Biden supporter. I supported Bernie Sanders unequivocally. Like to make myself feel better, I guess I could just like pretend like Bernie Sanders is the president. But what good is that going to do? Like, Accepting reality is an important part of life because if you don't accept reality, you can't function in reality, in society. And we have so many folks who just who don't accept basic reality. And this is really bad. This violence. Uh, are we violent? There's no violence. Are we violent? There's people been hurt. There's no violence. Wrong. You're literally rejecting now what you like see in front of your face you're just fucking stupid god damn look at that smug fucking look on her face wrong like what a fucking moron you are lady jesus christ these fucking people that a president should be behaving after Absolutely. losing Absolutely, yes. Yes, it's time yeah, that they clear way. out the swamp. Okay, We're this lady right here with like how animated she is, like Donald Trump could literally like spread his ass cheeks and shit down her throat and tell her it's chocolate and she would believe it. Like that's how far gone she is. Like she has overdosed on the Kool-Aid and she's fucking like, she's off her rocker. Like goddamn. Thing for to have them cheat and steal from us constantly. That's right. We're over it. No And, and we're peaceful. And, yeah, we're peaceful. We're not no like, we will not be silent, though. Is this an appropriate way You're to not be like who? behaving Antifa? after losing an election? I, I, absolutely. We have to, as American patriots, we have to do what we can to take back this country. Oh, fuck off. Okay, one last video. This is not of... Um, him talking to people he is uh basically sharing his insight this dude has uh been to far too many uh trump rallies and he's basically explaining what he sees and his conclusion is pretty obvious but nonetheless i think it's still really important uh he he explains who the culprits are he just sees all these folks regurgitating the same exact things he hears from oan which regurgitates what trump says that's right, yes, Aaron. I mean, after years of enabling uh, hate speech and conspiracy theories, these social media companies, which have made billions of dollars off all of this and who are complicit, yeah, to be honest, they are. complicit in a lot of what we saw, the violence we saw on the streets of Washington yesterday, uh, finally took some unprecedented steps to stop Trump's nonsense. They have never, ever taken the action that they took yesterday. Uh, Twitter, as you mentioned, suspending uh, Trump from tweeting for 12 hours. We have never seen that action before. Of course, it's all a bit too little, too late. And you know what was really striking yesterday, Aaron, was as we were on the ground and with those uh, Trump supporters and, and members of that mob, 
everybody was just repeating the same thing. They were repeating the conspiracy theories that they read on Facebook, that yep. they hear on OAN or on certain segments on Fox News, and they were repeating the conspiracy theorists that the conspiracy theories that Trump has been pushing from his Twitter and Facebook and YouTube accounts uh, for years. And yesterday, as uh, as as supporters were finally leaving the Capitol after breaking in, uh, I asked some of them if they were proud of what had happened here yesterday. Have a listen. Are you proud of what happened here today? Absolutely. I think we should have gone. Absolutely. Okay, so he's just going to play clips from what we just watched. Yeah, I think everything he's saying is right. Um, you know, these uh, these social media companies, they've basically become right-wing echo chambers and so much misinformation spreads on on Facebook. Like, if you have anyone in your family who is, like, over the age of 70 on Facebook, you know, they, they see a meme and they mistake it for news. I, I've had, like, my crazy aunts share these types of pro-Trump memes and I've removed them from my feed because I don't want to see that bullshit. But, like... You, you'd think that at a time when we have seemingly infinite knowledge at our fingertips, we all have smartphones, uh, we're dumber than ever because we don't seek out new information. We don't challenge ourselves. We don't actually want new knowledge. We just find whatever weird echo chamber exists online that will uh, confirm our existing biases and we get dumber as a result. Like this, what we're seeing here, this is like, a virus. This is brain rot. Like, how do we deprogram all of these people? There, there's too many. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what it's going to take. How do we convince these people to come back to reality and live in reality? I know we can't wait until the next generation comes to power because by then climate change will have already, like, devoured, you know, portions of the world. So I, I just, I don't know. There's this urgency, but also really the obstacles seem insurmountable you know how we go forward as a country i just don't know the trajectory that we're on is very very bad uh so we have to find a way to take the folks who are presumably too far gone and make them see the light and this is a project that i, I wouldn't even know where to begin i don't even know where to begin because they don't think that it's them, you know, who's the problem. They think it's us who's the problem. And if we just came to their side, then the country would be unified. When what they're asking for is like crazy shit. They want Trump to just be like a dictator. Uh, they want to uh, let the Republicans do whatever, you know, deregulate industries. And we already have, you know, a neoliberal party in the Democrats. So we don't need to turn that up to a 500 with Republicans. I just, I don't know. Like, this is a really troubling time in in american history and um if we can overcome this as a society then i'll feel a lot more optimistic about our future but when you have this many, many people who don't believe in basic reality reject what they see in front of their eyes it's just it's sad it, it's sad it's demoralizing and the task ahead of us at trying to fix this country is absolutely daunting um yeah so i will leave that there uh, I feel like these videos crushed my soul, but I mean, how could you not feel demoralized at, at the time? You know, America is in such a bad spot. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous, and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.